I'm from Los Angeles and I'm a professor at UCLA and um, today I was talking about my work which basically I study how um, new technologies, new media technologies are being used and by people from diverse communities all over the world, like indigenous people, people in the developing world, um, all over the world. And I was interested in thinking about how the voices of these people tend to not be really considered when we design technology, but also when we design um, museum collection systems and exhibition systems. So I was sharing some of my projects, which actually worked directly with indigenous communities, and then rethought how we design technology from these perspectives and how we rethink um, the ways in which museums can support these communities. So my main argument was that the ways different people from different cultures talk about and think about the world does not fit in one form and it tends to not fit in the the existing structures of technology that exist in our world. But that doesn't mean we can't change the way we think about technology to support local people and communities. Okay. So just that, yeah. Yeah, and do you work with uh, museums in uh, California or collaborating with this, which is the theme of this uh, conference? Yeah, I work with museums all over the world. Um, I'm working with them. Um, the um, the museum uh, the several museums in the United States um, I'm working with a museum at Zuni uh, the an indigenous community with which I work uh, we're also we're working with the Cambridge Museum of Anthropology and Archaeology which is in England um, but we're working mainly with American museums American regional museums and the Smithsonian the National Museum of the American Indian. And uh, is what you see a forward in the future for the museums? How is the what's happening in the area and the field? Yeah, I think it's really exciting, and I think this what this conference um, represents is exciting because people are interested in really pushing what museums have been in the past. They realize that museums can't just be places where things are collected. They're not just places to be respectful, but they're actually places which can really shape um, communities that that have very different visions of the world with each other. So they are places of controversy. They're places of, of struggle. They're places of debate. So this is what this conference is talking about. And um, the keynote sessions this morning were all in different ways talking about how we can't just think about diversity and culture and multiculturalism in very simple ways, like 10 brown, 8 blue, like this, but instead about people who think about the world very differently from one another. So that's what we were talking about today. Yeah. And sort of the museum can be the house of knowledge and, and collaboration and exploring things. Yeah, it's not for the museum to hold knowledge, it's for the museum to support um, communications, it's for the museum to, to be a space of the public, um, a space of agonism, a space to support new types of conversations. So it's not about collecting, it's more about empowering dialogues. And those dialogues are deeply important um, because, generally speaking, historically, museums have not supported this. Um, but there's this new possibility, and I think that's what we're trying to do here. And in around technology, these sorts of things might be more possible. But generally speaking, with existing technology, this is not happening still. So how do we push that boundary? And that's really what we're what we're what we're trying to focus on today. Yeah. Uh, is there any um, difference between uh, the U.S. Uh, museums and the rest of the world? Or how do you yeah. feel about that? You're in Europe now, for example. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I think some museums in the United States are really pushing it. Mm -hmm. um, I've been really impressed with how the museum community in Europe, actually in Scandinavia, um, I met some great people in Denmark last year where I gave a keynote. Um, but the communities in, in Europe, um, the, especially the kind of heritage communities in Scandinavia, are really interested in looking for new possibilities. Um, I think in America there are people in museums who are interested in those things, but you know we don't have a lot of major support because it's America. Everything is a business. Everything is decentralized. We don't have a very strong government, you know, cultural heritage institutions in America. Um, so it's interesting. It's actually something about being American. This kind of idea that you can try new things. You can be very experimental, combined with the support of European institutions like this. It really makes something really powerful possible. Yeah, yeah, that could be a collaboration, really. Yeah. I mean, that's really what that's really what I'm why I'm here. I mean, I came six thousand miles to yeah. come to this meeting. Yeah. <laughs>